A matriarchal religion is a religion that focuses on a goddess or goddesses. The term is most often used to refer to theories of prehistoric matriarchal religions that were proposed by scholars such as Johann Jakob Bachofen, Jane Ellen Harrison, and Maria Gimbutas, and later popularized by second-wave feminism. In the 20th century, a movement to revive these practices resulted in the goddess movement. History The concept of a prehistoric matriarchy was introduced in 1861 when Johann Jakob Bachofen published Mother Right, an investigation of the religious and juridical character of matriarchy in the ancient world. He postulated that the historical patriarchates were a comparatively recent development, having replaced an earlier state of primeval matriarchy, and postulated a thonic maternal prehistoric religion. Pachofen presents a model where matriarchal society and thonic mystery cults are the second of four stages of the historical development of religion. The first stage he called, heterism, characterized as a Paleolithic hunter and gatherer society practicing a polyamorous and communistic lifestyle. The second stage is the Neolithic, a matriarchal lunar stage of agriculture with an early form of Demeter the dominant deity. This was followed by a Dionysian. Stage of emerging patriarchy, finally succeeded by the Apollonian stage of patriarchy and the appearance of civilization in classical antiquity. The idea that this time period was a golden age that was displaced with the advent of patriarchy was first described by Friedrich Engels in his The Origin of the Family, Private Property, and the State. In the early 1900s, historian Jane Ellen Harrison put forward the theory that the Olympian pantheon replaced an earlier worship of Earth goddesses. Robert Graves postulated a prehistoric matriarchal religion in the 1950s, in his The Greek Myths and the White Goddess, and gave a detailed depiction of a future society with a matriarchal religion in his novel Seven Days in New Crete. Inspired by Graves and other sources was the Austrian surrealist Wolfgang Paulin who, in his painting, Pays Interdit, Forbidden Land, draws an apocalyptic landscape dominated by a female goddess and, as symbols of the male gods, fallen, meteorite-like planets. <laughs> Second wave feminism and the goddess movement The ideas of Bachofen and Graves were taken up in the 1970s by second-wave feminists, such as author Merlin Stone, who took the Paleolithic Venus figurines as evidence of prehistorical matriarchal religion. She presents matriarchal religions as involving a cult of serpents as a major symbol of spiritual wisdom, fertility, life, strength. Additionally, anthropologist Maria Gimbutas introduced the field of feminist archaeology in the 1970s. Her books The Goddesses and Gods of Old Europe 1974, The Language of the Goddess 1989, and The Civilization of the Goddess 1991 became standard works for the theory that a patriarchic or «androcratic» culture originated in the Bronze Age, replacing a Neolithic goddess-centered worldview. These theories were presented as scholarly hypotheses, albeit from an ideological viewpoint, in the 1970s, but they also influenced feminist spirituality and especially feminist branches of neo-paganism that also arose during the 1970s see Dianic Wicca and reclaiming neo-paganism, so that matriarchal religion is also a contemporary new religious movement within the larger field of neo-paganism, generally known as the goddess movement. Most modern anthropologists reject the idea of a prehistoric matriarchy, but recognize recognize matrilineal and matrifocal groups throughout human history. In recent years, genetic and other evidence has accumulated in support of the view that early human kinship was probably matrilineal. On the other hand, matrilineal descent does not necessarily imply matriarchal political rule. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cultural impact The Mother Goddess is a widely recognized archetype in psychoanalysis, and worship of Mother Earth and Sky Goddesses is known from numerous religious traditions of historical polytheism, especially in classical civilizations, when temples were built to many goddesses. Criticism <coughs> 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 Debate continues on whether ancient matriarchal religion historically existed. American scholar Camille Paglia has argued that, "...not a shred of evidence supports the existence of matriarchy anywhere in the world at any time," and further that, 
the moral ambivalence of the great mother goddesses has been conveniently forgotten by those American feminists who have resurrected them." In her book The Myth of Matriarchal Prehistory 2000, scholar Cynthia Eller discusses the origins of the idea of matriarchal prehistory, evidence for and against its historical accuracy, and whether the idea is good for modern feminism. See also Emma Curtis Hopkins Eric Newman psychologist Eternal feminine feminist theology gender and religion goddess movement witch cult hypothesis topic references <references>